Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Bulletproof for BJJ podcast. Hi guys, I'm JT. Hey, what's up? I'm Joey. And today we're saying, don't bench press for BJJ. Don't do it. I'm just saying. People say to me, oh, how come you guys don't have bench press in there? Guys, bench press. If you're benching in jiu-jitsu, it means your guard's been passed and you're in struggle town. It's not a good thing to do. Well, let's, yeah, let's qualify it. Um... I mean, it's good to have that strength, isn't it? To, you know, someone's on top, whatever, like push them off frame. Like, the, you know, that, that form of strength is handy. But there's ways to develop it, right? Yeah, and I think more so we're going to be talking about what the downsides of bench pressing are versus other forms of building a similar strength. Similar, yeah. And look, if we think about bench press, I mean, bench press has been popularized over time. It was, you know, back in the day, it wasn't that it was the preeminent move. It's just it got popular. And then over time, it got incorporated into powerlifting. And if you look at the history of the sport, those guys, as strong as they are, end up with wrecked shoulders. And we're, sp- we're speaking specifically about barbell bench pressing. Because even if you were to do it with dumbbells, that's a much healthier movement. Is that still called a bench press when it's with dumbbells? Or is that like a chest press or a dumbbell uh, press? I-, I think depending on who's classifying it, you could still look at it as doing a dumbbell. how fucking green I am with benchies. No, nah, but you can do it like, like a dumbbell bench press. I think hand position too, you can look at that. Yeah. There's obviously more bars now. Like you can get like a, a, like a Swiss bar or like a modified bar so you can have a... Like a more Neutral grip. Neutral grip. But I remember going to a seminar many years ago with a guy called uh, uh, Ashley Jones, who was a strength conditioning coach to the Wallabies. And he said that they don't let them bench below... The Australian National Rugby Union team, team. for those who are not familiar. Sorry, if you're not familiar, that's I totally understand. Um, but yeah, there, there's some big, strong guys. You know, the, you're playing against New Zealand. And obviously England's there, South Africa too, but everyone's scared of the All Blacks. Um, and that's the deal. They wouldn't let them, they would let them bench press, but only to 90 degrees on the elbow bend because they found that when guys would go below that in that position, they're at much greater risk of shoulder injury. Right. So recently I had a guy um, email me, fair, fair play, and he said, hey man, you've got this strength program. There's no bench press. What's wrong with you? And I was like, well, look, dude, you know. You're like, man, there's a fucking shitload of stuff wrong with me. <laughs> but let's talk about the bench press. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say what's wrong with you, but I, I, that's, I, I took yeah, it. Somehow I imagine if, if you got an email like that, he wouldn't have got an, uh, like a measured response. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I took it as a personal affront. <laughs> it's like Michael Jordan just inventing ways to Why be Why don't insulted. you step over to the gym, bro? 15 Underwood Avenue. I'm here all day. <laughs> come, <Gotta> s- <laughs> come see me, bro. Yeah, first class is free, bro. <laughs> But essentially, let's look at some of the pressing movements we do because we, we there is a floor press in there. We do like a guard attack with the with yeah. kettlebells. Yeah, like, we got a bunch of pressing work. Yeah, bottoms up press, overhead press, strict press. Like it, it's all in there. I think the thing with bench press is that it's, it became a it became one of those sort of foundational movements of gym goers. Yes, and then if you go into the powerlifting realm or the strength conditioning realm, it's kind of really held up there as as being like one of the big three. It's like back squat, deadlift, bench press. Sure. Now, from our perspective, it's like, yeah, deadlift, great. Back squat, great. Bench press, nah, don't need it. Reason being is that you can use these other forms of pressing, which which have more range of motion. They have more of a mobility aspect to them, like an overhead press, right? Like you're building a lot, like you're you're getting a lot more stuff within an overhead press than compared to a bench. Yes. Even just in terms of how far you're moving that load. Yeah. But also you're helping to open up the shoulders, you're helping with thoracic extension, all that stuff. Um, So I think when we look at it, we're like, well, yeah, it's a good exercise. It's fine. But the, but there's better exercises out there that will build the same shit and more. Definitely. So if you only got limited time, do those. Yeah, and, and think this, guys. Like two two key points here. It's harder to be strong overhead. Like we, we all know, like you know, when someone's got you under mount, or you're under someone's mount, and your arms are up like this. Like it's hard to be able to be strong overhead. So actually, pressing overhead is a greater indication of your total body strength through your whole torso and everything, then horizontal pressing. And if you've got a really strong overhead press, it won't be hard for you to have a horizontal press. But also, picture this, guys, because, you know, I spent a little bit of time working on my bench. It's garbage, but I've worked on it. 
you have to pinch your shoulder blades back and all your weight is distributed into fixing your scapulas like this. Like they sit there. But let's say we flip that and we're talking got, about like that very strict powerlifting yeah, style you setup. You really set your lats and you, and because that gives you a strong uh, kind of position to press from. Yeah, the bit of the arch in the back, you know, like yep. putting it right. Also reduces the range of motion, doesn't it? It Does <laughs> brings your chest closer to the bar. It does, but also when you're on that position, it's almost like a slight decline. You can better access the pecs. Yeah, doesn't matter if you did a weighted push up. But you don't see bodybuilders benching like that, right? Like no. you see, it's like if the goal is press the heaviest load possible, that's the setup. Yes. Versus, hey, I want to grow my pecs, like bodybuilder type sure. intention. Then it's like, oh man, let's, you know, it's, it's different. It is different. And this is, is the different. specificity of that as an exercise, isn't it? Yeah. And, but, but then also let's flip that and go look at like a ring push up or a ring dip. Like how, how ch- even just a normal body weight dip, parallel bar dip, even though, yes, there is a, you know, there's, it's really loading up the elbows. So you're getting a lot of tricep. There's plenty of pec involvement as well, depending on how you do it. Even if you do a push up, and say you were to do a weighted push up, at least your scapulas are free to move as they normally would. It's much healthier for your shoulder and way harder in your core because you're loading anteriorly. The reason why you can produce so much force through a bench press is you're bridging, you're squeezing your glutes, like it's, it, and you've got the backing of the um, the bench there. So. What I'd say is if you are bridging super hard and pushing super hard up and we're relating this back to jiu-jitsu, that's not you at your best in terms of jiu-jitsu. Training that isn't necessarily the best thing for you to do, even though you could comparatively say, oh, it's a movement you do in jiu-jitsu. Yeah, sure. Ultimately, there is better ways to train your triceps, your chest, your shoulders to get strong, which is actually safer for your shoulders and actually more bang for your buck. Yeah, so there's a there's a kind of a simple comparison there is the like the thing with the bench press and I find this myself the 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 few times that I the, you know the rare occasion when I do it uh, which is always a bit of fun you go to some gym whatever like hey we're benching great let's sure. go um, but you you know you get yourself into a great position and whatnot and and I'm talking right now to the everyday person that's that's training what's really easy to happen in a, in something like a bench press is that you kind of get yourself into a position but as soon as it gets a bit heavy you start like weaseling out of the position in order to get the bar up because yeah. the intention is get the bar from here to here. Yes. And your shoulders will hike up a little bit. Maybe you'll lean into one side. Like your positioning is just not optimal. Flip that and take a the same movement pattern but a body weight variation, push up. Correct. Right? Or a ring push up or a deficit push up. And all of a sudden you have to be very aware of the positioning of your entire body You've got to have your pelvis tucked, glutes engaged, abs tight, rib cage down, shoulders are set. You know, like there's a lot going on. So the coordination, I would argue, for something like the body weight approach is much greater. It's harder. Yeah. yeah. And so if we're looking at like the carryover to jiu-jitsu, I would like undoubtedly say that the body weight one's way more bang for buck because you are having to build that whole body connection and awareness definitely and it you know and it's not to say like well look yeah if you've got five days of strength training per week chuck some bench press in great but sure. if like most of us you want to be at jiu-jitsu as much as possible and you're like well i'm happy to go do some weights a couple times well i wouldn't waste my time on bench press yeah and work I, on things that are going to give you more for that time and part of the reason why i was going to say don't bench press for bjj and we've talked about this before you know and it's not it's not to bore you guys but think this for the best part most people who do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu don't have the best posture. Their shoulders are internally rotated already. They don't have... It's like your shoulders are rolled. Yeah, it's almost like you're semi kimura Yeah. You know, you're in this kind of position. You are loading that up. And specifically with a barbell bench press, you are like slightly internally rotated in terms of how you load the bar. That's what's terrible in terms of biceps, tendon, and shoulder and all that. If you can turn your hand so it's more neutral, so if we think it's more like palms facing each other like that, that's way better for your shoulder. Yeah. You know, and yes, you can do a kind of underhand grip, underhand grip, supinated grip, suicide grip. That's fine, but that's very uncommon. Just know that your ability to place your hands in a push up or a dip is far more optimal than an internally rated, rotated position, which is much more likely to lead to injury. Jiu Jitsu itself will possibly lead to injury you don't want to spend time reinforcing movements in the gym which can cause injury and 
barbell bench press specifically can put you there if you do it too much. Well said. My guy, thank you, Joe. Thank you, my brother. Guys, thanks for listening. If you need help with your strength training and you want to check out our program, go to bulletproofforbjj.com. Uh, you can start, sign up for a free trial. You can use the discount code BJJ Podcast, and you'll get twenty percent off your subscription. We've got flexibility and strength programs, various different ones that suit your situation. Go in, sign up. If you've got any questions, hit JT and I up, and we'll see you on the inside. Yes, sir. You.